Okay, here's a garden update. May 28th, 2007. I'll try to make this quick. Quick and dirty. Um, nothing too much. Things just continue to kind of kind of grow. I guess one of the more exciting things is that the strawberries have and I don't know if you can see that or not but they've developed little runners very few of the strawberries are actually producing flowers which which uh, is sort of interesting I mean my plan was to let about 10 of the plants flower and produce fruit um, and let the others develop runners and grow and everything else and everybody I guess sort of heard that <laughs> when I since I uh, was talking in front of them and so they've all decided to uh, just develop runners and in in fact um, well no that's okay I was gonna say there's one one kind that's making runners and one kind that's just growing but I just see now that there's one there that uh, that actually is developing runners, but you can see that the, the strawberries are doing uh, extraordinarily well here. Um, they're coming along really well. So there's uh, you know the, the, all all of this effort is for next year. So this year. Um, it's not going to be too exciting. Peas are coming along relatively well. Some of them are getting kind of tired. I've got this one group of peas here, though, and I think these are snow peas, um, who who are just uh, as green as can be and as happy as can be. Um, the mustard has all gone to flower. And I don't know if you can see little Mr. B there on that flower working away so there's evidence of honeybees and that is a honeybee that's that's not a mason bee or anything like that that's a that's the real deal right there and well he's sort of the only worker at the moment I'm also noticing here I don't know if you can see that or not but those are aphids so we have a little aphid infestation here on the mustard plants probably most likely because these guys are feeling a little stressed I mean it's pretty hot it's not their season um, all or most of the radishes are in full flower and going to seed, you can you can start seeing the seed pods here doing doing quite well. So I'm going to get a lot of seeds from those under here. Let's see what we've got. Ah, we've got lettuce, some red leaf lettuce called red sails, and we have uh, kohlrabi, which are coming along well. They're kind of small baseball size now. And look at that lettuce! Isn't that beautiful? absolutely gorgeous gorgeous lettuce and let's see over here is tatsoi which is also doing extremely well and uh, I think this is broccoli I don't know how well the broccoli is gonna do it's pretty warm the uh, the heirloom dent corn is doing well some of them are actually getting their their, their top tassels already, which I don't know if that's good or not, but it's going along. We're doing a little experiment here. Um, you can see here that I have planted a row of, these are called Iroquois melons. They're a native sweet melon, also heirloom. Um, Okay, so let's go over to the other area. I'll show you what I've got there. You've sort of seen it, seen what's going on here in my previous videos. Um, 
what I thought was infertile ground um, is turning out to be just very thirsty plants. I, uh, and I'll show you this in more detail. I finally have my irrigation system here going and I've been giving the soybeans a, a shot in the arm every night. I've been running this for about half an hour every night and they are coming back to life. So I'm very pleased with that. Extremely pleased with that. I was worried that I'm going to lose them. Let me quickly show you the irrigation system that I've got set up here. It's coming from from the hose over here to a PVC pipe and then I've got these these gizmos here uh, which, which uh, uh, well you know maybe I should just patent these because they're just just so brilliant but anyway um, there's a valve on each row that I can turn on and off each each row and so the water this is sort of the main line here water comes up and goes down that way and down off off to your left and I'm doing that all the way down I don't have all of them made yet. I've got. I ran out of. Uh, ran out of emitters. I mean, each each one of these rows. I'm doing an emitter every foot. So each one of these rows takes about 40, 40 to 45 emitters. Um, so I've just got emitters on the, sort of the bare essentials at the moment. You can see the uh, the corn, which I also thought was for dead. Um, is coming back to life because I yet again I'm giving it a, a shot in the arm uh, with the watering every night. Gee, you know, amazing what water does. You saw in my previous video the uh, um, the yucca flower stalks that I'm going to use for poles from for my pole beans. Pole beans will be going in the next couple of days. And then you also saw in a previous video the tomato plants, the 36 tomato plants, which are also in and doing, you know, relatively well. They're, I think there's a little, a little bit of shock. Maybe I should show you some of my workers. Yes, I, I do have uh, unpaid employees here, and they are working hard, doing their thing. And doing my thing, they're keeping the place nice and clean. I appreciate these guys, I really do, believe it or not, I really do. I don't know what I would do without my ant friends. Anyway, the tomatoes are doing pretty well. Um, potatoes are not, but I think again, they just need water. And the asparagus uh, is also doing quite well. I don't know if you can see those guys or not. Okay, well that's the garden update for today. Oh, one, one more quick thing. The grape is coming along quite well. Look at him. Isn't that fantastic? So I think, um, probably not this year, but next year we're gonna have grapes. This guy is coming out finally. We're doing good. Okay, so that's all for now. Peace.